Okay, so here we have Pokemon Showdown, and today I'm going to be teaching you all the different ways you can use Green Ninja. So we'll just open the team builder here, make a new team. Focus Sash gets consumed, Acrobatics is going to double in power. Plus it's going to get stabbed from Protein, so it's going to have 165 base power. That's almost as much as Brave Bird, but without the recoil damage. Now, let's see. I'm also going to give it Shadow Sneak. Quick Attack, or another normal type move, or Vacuum Wave, or Mach Punch, or any fighting type moves are used against you, Shadow Sneak will prevent them from hitting you, because it will change you into a Ghost type with the Protein ability. Let's see, what else should I give it? Um... give it spikes. That would make it immune to all electric attacks if you use spikes. Or I could give it a U-turn, make it a purely physical attacking Greninja. A waterfall maybe for the flinch probability. I mean 20% is pretty good. However, could also give it a quick attack to make it immune to ghost type attacks. Hmm. But ghost type Pokemon are usually the only ones with ghost type moves. And quick attack doesn't work on ghost type Pokemon, so it's kind of pointless. But you know what I could do? I could give it Blizzard or Ice Beam. Let's go for Ice Beam. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because most Dragonites carry Extreme Speed. So, let's assume that it uses Extreme Speed. The Focus Sash will save you. Or, if it uses Dragon Dance, you can use Shadow Sneak. That will turn you into a Ghost Type so you'll be immune to extreme speed the next turn, and Shadow Sneak will break its multi-scale, so Ice Beam will guarantee to one-hit kill it. Hmm. <coughs> Likewise, I could give it... I could make it a mixed attacker, and give it, like... Hidden Power Steel. So, the poison type moves are completely useless against it. Or, I could give it Power Up Punch. So, I use Power Up Punch. The opponent takes me down to my Focus Sash. Then, Acrobatics gets doubled in power, plus Tab plus one attack stage. That will just about kill anything, even Mech Venusaur. Let's give it attack nature and anti-special attack nature. Actually, no, let's give it speed nature. Hmm. 
Now instead of making it a mixed type, I could replace ice beam with, ooh, I know what I want. Where is that? Water shuriken. It's a priority move. So you're going to outspeed Talonflame, and it's got stab, and it's super effective, and it breaks Focus Sash, and still attacks at least once more. And it's got a number of chances for a critical hit. Yeah, that's what I want. Now, that being said, there are so many ways that you can make Greninja immune to other attacks. Acrobatics makes it immune to ground-type attacks. Dark moves like Dark Pulse will make it, or Night Slash, will make it immune to psychic attacks. Hidden Power Electric makes it immune from uh, Thunder Wave. Grass Knot makes it immune to Sleep Powder, Spore, and Leech Seed. Uh, Hidden Power Fire will make it immune to being burned. Hmm, let's see, what else? Toxic Spikes will make it immune to being poisoned. I guess that's basically it. I thought there was one other thing. <coughs> hmm. I thought there was one other thing. Oh, right, I'm thinking of Hidden Power Fairy, which doesn't exist. That would make you immune to Dragon-type attacks. But, I mean, just the same, you can make yourself immune to, like, a third of all moves. And I think that's just about it. See you next time.